to tell them. My dog, welcome back. Bam. How we doing? How we doing? Copy left. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. We're here. Episode <coughs> number <coughs> 50, <coughs> 52, 53. Don't cough in the mic. Uh oh. 52 or 53? 51. We did 51? Oh, maybe we did. I don't maybe know. I don't maybe know. We we're a little I'm behind. We're trying to pack the Swede. We're behind on the rendering. We keep <sighs> fucking up. Running. I was running. I got everything running. I'm going to situate. What happened to old DP? Which one? Here. I got you. We got a liter of cola. All right. We got a lot of shit to talk about. A uh, liter of cola. Ooh. We got mad weed. I'm glad. It's so cold. Look at Boom. Fog. We got the heater on. The heater's not as loud no, as No, no, not cold air in here. I'm just saying it's cold in like... Life. Yeah. Life coldness. Mm-hmm. Because it's December. It is. It is. It's almost fucking Christmas time. In the city. Oh, I got something to say fast about that. Really fast about Christmas. Jingle bells. Christ mass. Okay? Jingle bells. Supposed to be celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Hey, Jesus. But some people believe that Jesus might not have been born in December. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. Zeitgeist, number one. Because. You ever see that one? Which one? Zeitgeist, number oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all about that. Keep going, keep going. Okay. So. Easter. I thought it was Easter. Well, Easter. Oh, it's when yeah, he gets that's up. When he that's when he comes again. back to life. When he comes back. Oh, I get it. The hibernate. Zombie. I mean, he hibernates. Zombie bunnies. Keep, keep okay, going, keep um, going. And then, My bad. Uh, so I was looking up what, when would Jesus have been born then, right? If it's not uh-huh. in December. October. Nope. August. Nope. September. Because the shepherds. Oh, yeah, it's, who, it's a roosting season. Right? Yeah. Harvesting season. You it's like harvest late, the babies. Se- late, late summer. You fuck in the spring. Late summer. You fuck in the spring. Yeah, or the winter. It's cold. You're stuck inside. Get the fucking. Right? Yeah. Is that when you have sex? Uh, yeah, if you're Nine having months? babies in September. It's about 10 months. Like, it's almost a year, you know? It's about 10 months? Mm-hmm. Sometimes less? It's sometimes less, yeah. Or more. But, like, the whole process, all that shit, you know what I mean? It's like... A good 10 months, you're fucking, you're getting it in, you're doing this, you're doing that, and then you start no. feeling sick and getting big, you know? Oh, they don't feel good when they're pregnant? <laughs> some of them. Some of them have an easy time. My cousin's pregnant right now. She's having a hard time. She says, I eat like a fucking two bites of everything, and that's all I can eat. Oh, wow. And she's like, I just feel really sick afterwards, and I'll oh. still be hungry, but then I won't want to eat because I just got sick. Damn. She's really little. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I got everybody, you know, people get the holiday blues. Yeah, around a lot holidays. of people are sad. A lot of people lost people like, around the well, holidays. I have. That's because we have truth versus tradition, right? Oof, I see. Tradition is. Yeah, turn in this way. You might be oh, off my camera. bad, dog. Sorry, I was trying. I don't to know. Mute. New camera. We gotta figure it out. Yeah. Uh, uh, tradition is December twenty fifth. Uh huh. We're celebrating Christ's birth. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Problem is, truth is probably not that he wasn't there. That he, was, he wasn't even born on that day. Right. Right. So now, everybody's living a lie. Yeah. Christmas is a lie, so that the whole thing is a lie. That's why people get depressed because they have these, they have it's these the expectations. expectations. Yeah, it's the expectation. Yeah. Okay, moving and on. And then the subversion of expectation. Them, well, dude. nah, fuck that. Let's stay. <laughs> I get pissed off because it's spo- it's the opposite. So everybody's supposed to be all, uh, um. Cheerful, joyful, giving, and everybody's real fucking selfish. Like people are driving right. like assholes. People that never been to the store expect the store to be fucking perfect. You know? Yeah. I don't want a reality check. I checked this old man yesterday, dude. <laughs> Racismo. Every, every, Racismo, every dog. Every, every fucking other day you're checking an old dog. Man. This fucking guy goes. He he's he asked the lady for something. He maybe asked for it twice or something. I don't know. I didn't see the whole beginning of the conflict. But I just hear him go, let me stop you right there. Your crisis is not my crisis, okay? I need, I, I expect the store to da 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 you know? And he goes, right, whatever, that old white guy acting like an old white guy. Okay. He goes, and that brown girl over there has been giving me dirty looks since I walked in uh, here. Oh, he just crossed the line, I said, what dog. the fuck? I said, get your ass out of here, motherfucker. And then he was just like, oh, kiss yeah. my ass, do old man shit, you know? And I said, whatever, whatever. And he goes, uh, 
just wait, we'll catch you on the highway. And he like called, he said like something about sheriff shit. He was like, wow. Sheriff 38, just wait, I'll catch you on the highway. And I was like, I said, yeah. I said, what the fuck? So I went outside, I walked up to him, I said, did you just threaten me? You said you're a cop or something and you just threatened me? What the fuck are you going to do? You're an off-duty cop, are you going to fucking shoot me or something? And he was just like, he couldn't even explain what he said. He's not a cop? No, fuck no, he wasn't a cop. He's just oh, a grumpy-ass old man, dude, man. you know? But even if he was a cop, I was like, hey, hey, you're, you're a sheriff? What's your fucking name and what department? You're over here threatening people and shit at, at Big Five? Are you Weird. fucking kidding me? Big Five Sporting Goods. Wow! Watch out. Damn, blow your damn balls off. <laughs> right? And uh, he, and he just crumpled right away, you know, blah, blah, blah. and he's like, I'm not racist. I was like, oh, you're just an I'm asshole. Not racist. I said, I said, how? I said, I got a cousin whose sister's half brother. I, dog, I told him, I said, what are you gonna buy a fucking? What are you gonna buy a remote control car, a basketball for forty bucks? You expect the fucking royal treatment for forty dollars? I said, are you a fucking millionaire? Are you going in there spending ten thousand dollars? No. So calm the fuck down. Yeah, chill out. You know. I said, like, you don't get the fucking royal treatment, white man. And he goes, oh, yeah, it's a race thing? I said, yeah, bitch, you said that brown girl's giving me looks. Oh. And he goes, ah, I'm not racist. If you touch me, it's battery. I said, we both know I could. <laughs> he, I said, I said, we both know I could fuck you up, old man. Why would I do that? I came over here just to check you, you know? Ah. I told him that straight up. I said, we both know I'd beat the Sick. shit out of you, old man. Ah, come my, on. My words are sore as Yeah, dog. dog. You're like, I'm fucking slicing you up Come right on. Now. There's people in the parking lot looking. I was like, you guys really think I'm going to beat the shit out of this old guy, dude? Are you kidding me? He's like five right. foot tall. He's just an old dick. If you touch me, you're I said, you never got, right. yeah, dude. I said, you never got checked. I was like, oh, you're tough in the store. Now you want to fucking call the cops right away? You were being an asshole. And he was yeah. like, ooh. I said, you, you're an old life, 60 years old. You never got checked in your whole fucking life. You got checked today, motherfucker. God, man, right? it's a great pull, awakening, pull, dog. Ho, 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 you know what I mean? Whew. And, I, and he's like, I'm getting something for my grandson. I said, do you think he'd be proud of his grandpa acting like that to those people? Is that the example you're trying to set, motherfucker? You know? Got him. Got him. Got him. It says Christmas is the season of giving. That, I literally said that shit. <laughs> I said, it's Christmas. You're acting like an asshole. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I got him, dude. It's Christmas. That's why it makes me mad. Like it's the op it's the subversion. It's the opposite world. It's supposed to be giving time. It's supposed to be nice to people. You know what I mean? Be cool. Be yeah. fucking. You know. Well, that's the thing. Supposed to be right. Supposed to. Right. Dog. Hey I'm Arnold. To, I'm supposed to be going over to my. Hey. I'm supposed to. Hey Arnold. Christmas episode. You remember? No. Just go, go. 30 seconds. MK Cinema. Okay. Secret Santa in the boarding house. First off, it's a boarding house, so it's all misfits. You don't really realize that as a kid, but it's all people that are kind of fucked up and damaged. They live in a literally a house of I'm, other people. I'm with you. Okay, okay. so it's an right? orphanage. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Adult orphanage, right? Boarding house. Adult orphanage. They have those? Uh, they used to back in the day. I think I think uh, Harrenhal takes place like it, it, it literally takes place in the 90s when it was airing. All right? That's kind of weird. It's pretty crazy. Secret Santa, they have everybody in the house. One of the characters is Mr. Wynn, right? He's an Asian dude. They don't specify which Asian guy, okay. right? Turns out he's a Vietnamese dude. And when he was a young man, the Vietnam War came, and uh, they only had room on a helicopter for one. Like, they didn't have any more room on a helicopter, but he had a baby. So he fucking held up the baby. The guy took the baby and said, New York City. You know, that's where I'm taking her. Whoa. And then 20 years, he had never found her. He, you know, he doesn't have the money. It took him 20 years to get over here. He doesn't know what to say, blah, 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 you know? Okay. And Arnold reunites him. Well, actually, Helga reunites him, right? She gives up one of her presents. Oh, It's crazy. Shit. You know, it's convoluted and shit. It's a cartoon. It's like, you know, the I'm guy work, the last guy in the office working, he needs the, the <clears throat> most exclusive boots, you know, in the city. Just came out this year, latest edition. Nobody has them. Yeah. Helga got it because she's a spoiled little bitch, and, <laughs> and she has to give it up and learn the true meaning of Christmas. How about Arnold, you know? Okay. And Arnold never knows. She just did it because it's a Christmas miracle, right? Okay. You know what I mean? Christmas that, that like, uh, karmic credit. Whoa. Right? Not karmic debt. The they put that shit in. Hey, Arnold. Credit. Hey, Arnold, dude. I was Whoa. crying. I was MK crying. Cinema. Them dabs, dude. I've been dabbing at home. I got a dab rig, and I've been getting high as fuck, dude. And usually I only dab here. 
I'm keeping it, you know, separate at home. I'll smoke blinds. I just have a bong, chilling and shit. But I got a dad break now, and I've been getting so fucking high. I, I was yeah. crying watching the Arnold fucking Christmas special. <laughs> really? Because you knew. That was so good. It's so good. It's so sad, dude. You know, but it's yeah. so good. It's like satisfying. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's okay. So that's a little a quick deviation right there. Crying. Right. Um, as a grown ass man, uh huh, who's not a soy boy. Right. You said you cried. Yeah, right? yeah. It was good. So I was put myself. No, you said it was good. Yeah, yeah. Because I put so myself now, in the fucking sit in the. So now let's say you stop yourself. Story. Uh-huh. Right. No, I'm not. I'm not blaming you or accusing you or nothing. Oh, or, or, or nothing. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you, but let's say you allowed yourself to cry, right? Right. But let's say it's the opposite. Now you're gonna stop and you never let yourself cry. What? Well, what's? The, what's gonna happen? I don't know. You get all weird, like weirdly pent up. I, 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 not really. Yeah. I feel like it's not pent up, but you kind of build up a uh, the shitty pattern. You build up a horrible pattern to where you don't deal with your emotions right there, and you, you, you can't deal with your emotions. Because yeah. I've been like that before in the past too, where it's like, you get fucking frustrated, and you just like, I, I just can't, I just can't, I just can't. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's the only fucking thing you can think in your head, right. like I just can't it's right not, now. I'm it's not too doing much. This is too much no. energy. <laughs> but everything, like someone asks you, no, tell me, like t- I will help you, whatever you need right now, and you just can't even talk about it. Like you're like. Hysterically, like, and then, and, uh, 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 like, if it happened right the panic then, attack. Yeah, 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 and that's like self-imposed, you know. Yeah, you you don't you have to deal with it right away. Yeah, you have yeah, to dude. deal with it right away. Oh, dog, I'm with you, dog. I'll be driving down the road, mm-hmm. and I'll hear some crazy song, dude. Yeah, and it should make me cry. It'll get you, and it's like, but yeah. it's just it's like, and it's not even a song that would make me cry. It's like a fucking. What is the message? Just like you the tapped message. into the message. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's I what go, I'm saying. Oh fuck! And then I have like a weird yeah. epiphany thing, and then I go, oh fuck! Nice. And then I my balls get blown off. Yeah, yeah. And then I, go, oh, and then I break yeah, down. I do like, like oh, that oh, fucking oh. guy. I love that guy. Yeah. It's crazy. Breaking up weed the whole time. That's yeah, good. it's. What's uh, kind of which one is that? I got the G18, baby. G what? The G18. We can't say the real strain. It's a G13, baby. G13. G13 classified. You know what's funny? That's in it's rush classified. hour. Top secret. That's in rush hour. He goes, it's G13 classified. Or maybe he says G18. Maybe that's why I think that. I don't know. But he says something like that when he gives him a bullshit assignment to distract Jackie Chan, you know? Yeah. And that's what he tells him the classification is. And the fucking Chris Tucker is the idiot. He's like, oh, this is, I'm on a classified mission, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. I love that. Those movies. All right, what else you got for me, Show Dom? Yes. Oh, oh, my God, I have so much. I text you. Okay, here we go. I was on a good one here last go. night. Here we go. This is I it. want to reiterate free Palestine. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, man. I'm just no. going to say that. Whatever influence that has, spread it. Spread it. Tell mm-hmm. your friends. Tell your neighbors, right? If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, go look it up. Yeah. Mike knows what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. So. All right, here we go. That's it. There was a weirdly, uh, I don't know, he's like a soy boy anomaly, right? That Tony Hinchcliffe. Okay. okay. You know that guy? He does the Kill Tony show. Yeah. Frog loves that shit. Yeah. Uh, he went on Joe Rogan, and they talked about this thing I had never heard of before. Uh, it's very weirdly fucking timed and crazily coincident, some time traveler shit. Okay. The Pink Floyd album, Dark Side of the Moon. Okay. Right? One of like the seminal albums of this fucking right. century. Everybody loves that shit. Yeah. That one and The Wall. They did The Wall, too. These guys were like really fucking ahead of their time, right? Yeah. You line up that album with the fucking Wizard of Oz. And it's weird, all crazy synchronicities, perfectly timed. Huh. Weird messages and subcontext and codes, you know what I mean? The fucking subliminal shit, Whoa. dude. And it's people have been doing it for like forty years. People have been doing it since the album came out, I guess. Somebody figured it out. I who the fuck knows, dude? You know? That's nuts. But it's crazy. They have it online and it's weird to watch, dude. There's like weird stuff that other people cue into. I don't want to jump up on the table, and burn herself. Hey, go. Uh what do you want? You yeah. Want yeah. There was a really cool thing. He brought it up. Tony Hinchcliffe brought it up. He goes, uh, money. You know, money. Don't know. It's my own. <laughs> Get your hands off my stack. Money. Uh. You know, like if you would hear it, I'm not good. But if you, 
I if thought you, it was. Yeah, yeah, but if you would hear it, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I've heard that song. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, it lines up <laughs> with, like, uh, when, you know, she goes up in the fucking, the house goes up in the air, or right? I don't know what Wizard exactly happens. Yeah. Right, uh, right. Yeah, some uh, weird shit. I know. I watched it like once. It used to scare me when I was little. So I said, "Fuck the Wizard of Oz." I never watched it. Uh, right, it's supposed to be a tornado. Scared the fuck Kansas. out of me. Yeah, it scared me. I never watched it. But I guess right there, it's black and white, and then it switches to color. And right there is when, yeah. when money starts, and it's kind of like this, like allegory, the fucking money. metaphor mm-hmm, for. I guess Hollywood. I guess yeah. maybe pimping her out, dude. Maybe all this ancient. Oh, this ancient shit going on, dude. Oh. Is it like? Oh yeah, what's her name? The girl, uh, Dorothy. Dorothy. Yeah, she I... was molested by the Munchkins. They banged her. That's in the movie. I ain't in the fucking movie, dog. But it's something. That's in real life. Dog. Oh, they got her. Yeah, somebody hung themselves right in the on, some on weird the... shit. It's like a cursed movie thing, right? That's an old some school weird movie thing. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That's the a, red shoes. The red shoes. The witch. The the good witch. Right. This weird. The, the man behind the curtain. What's his name? Owen Benjamin talks about <laughs> it all, all the time. He, uh, oh fuck. He talks about. Hey, the, nah, 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 nah. And it's just old oh, fuck. Yeah, it's just some old white guy. Yeah, you know what kind of. What uh, kind? No, I don't mean anything. Uh, Free Palestine. Listen. <laughs> it's uh, weird. You turn, you turn me weird. into we. But that With was the help of thee. <laughs> yeah. I fuck that. What is nope. that? In that movie? I never no, watched I it a lot. I'm just saying cryptography. Yeah. But I just thought that was really that's crazy. I can't believe that movie's like it's some time traveler shit. That's like a magic movie, dude. Yeah. A lot of them, dude. I think a lot of, that's how they do a lot of them, like Shazam. The new one? Oh no, the the one Kazam, that doesn't exist. Shazam, Kazam. The one that didn't exist? Yeah, or whatever, you know. Yeah. But it did exist or whatever. I think so. It was like a Hang bootleg. On. It was like, you know how they make bootleg? Like they'll have transformers and then they'll have transmorphers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I thought it was something like that when I was growing up. Like they the, they made the big budget one, which was the Shaquille O'Neal one. Yes. And then they also made the little bullshit one with, with Sinbad. Sinbad. That's what I thought. That's what In my head, that's what makes sense. I thought so too. You know? But, oh, but who knows? I say well, that's fake. There's this, you know. I found this. Uh, they do a lot of that though. Online, it's uh, the most mysterious song on the I internet. I swear to God, she's okay. No, no, she's not. <laughs> it's the most mysterious song on the internet, and no, it, she's not. She's all right. Oh, put her out. Go. Wait, just wait. She's fine for the next. No. Eleven minutes, or then we'll no, change it. No, she's up. gonna stay away from my jacket. She will. Stay away from my jacket. Hey. She's fine. No. Go. You're not fine. Go. Go. She's Tell fine. her, Mike. She's fine. Cat. Q. Hit the hit the uh, thing. Get down. Oh, gosh, she doesn't even care. She doesn't care. She's fine. No. Look at you guys smoke this blunt. Okay. Don't worry right. about the cat. I know, but she's gonna try to get my jacket. What's she gonna do? She's gonna lay on it. No. She's gonna chug talk it? I'm gonna pee on it, dog. She's gonna pee on the jacket. Look at her. All right. Pause. Okay. Come here, pee cat. Got it. Oh. There you go. Quick. All right, here we go. Oh man, thank you, dog. You saved the fucking world right now. Piss cat, huh? I got a piss dog. <laughs> you never know. The little dogs are good though. The puppies, they they don't pee inside. They're pretty good. They got trained by the mom. Wow. They just got Sullivan, little dickless. That cat. Here we go, here we go. Motherfucker. The fucking back into it. <gasps> the most mysterious song on the internet. Okay. All right? People what have been it? trying to figure it out for like 10 years. It's this weird 80s song, and it's like, a, I don't know if it's mastered. or, or it, the, they, didn't mo- they didn't master the vocals right. The, the vocals were kind of low, okay. but it's this really, really good 80s song. Okay. And uh, nobody knows who did it. They know when and what, where. They know like what synthesizers they used. They know like the lyrics Whoa. pretty much, dude. But nobody can find where it came from. They, they, somebody recorded it off the radio. 
had it on a fucking cassette tape. That has, that's the only fucking record of it huh. ever. Nobody's ever come forward and said, hey, I know that. this is me. Or, oh, I, that was, you know, the internet's undefeated, I yeah. thought. Huh. I thought the internet was undefeated. Yeah. It's is not. It not? Yeah. The most mysterious song on the internet. Oh, that makes me want to, okay, we're going to do a little quick music thing. Yeah. Okay, Japanese Breakfast. I love that song. This is, well, that's not boyish? a song. That's a, oh, that's a that's band. That's a band, yeah. You like Boyish? Yeah, you know that boyish one? Boyish is an excellent song. I love that You know that the name song. of the album? What's it called? What is it? I told you I sent you the word. Oh, the fucking... Psycho Pomp. Psycho Pomp, huh? Yeah, you know what Psycho Pomp is? Psycho Pomp. No, I didn't read that. I wanted to save it on here. Time oh, time. my lordy. Time my Lanta. Uh-huh. Psycho Pomp. Okay. A Psycho Pomp. P-O-M-P. That is... You can look it up. Okay. Uh, it is... They say it's... I don't know if you could be alive, like in the third dimension, and have a body and be a psychopomp. Right. I guess that would be like a shaman. But a okay. psychopomp is usually someone in the spiritual realm, like your spirit guide, that when you die, they help you get to the other side, right? Okay. That's kind okay. of what it is. So you die, boom, <coughs> you're dead. I'm dead. And then your energy is starts to leave your body because it can't be created or destroyed, only transformed. Do you think you can meet yourself? You're gonna meet a you're gonna meet a spirit guide. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got me. You're gonna meet a psycho pomp. No, 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 you got me, you got me, you got me. Listen, listen, listen. You got me. Okay. 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 What if? Okay, that that happens. You die. You yeah. go meet your spiritual self. Okay. Right. Which yeah, because over soul group soul, it is you. Okay. Yeah, it's but, you. But but let's say it like literally is you. Like you, your you just you transform into something else. Okay. Okay. You, we always think of it as going somewhere, because we're third dimensional. We keep it's going this way. It's going right. Or yeah. go, boo, shoot off into space yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go down to hell. That's just how we manifest it in our minds. That is literally the energy transforming. Yeah. What happens when you die? It's a transmutation. You, you, yeah, you witness a transmutation and you make sense of it as a journey, but it's not really a journey. It's your energy fucking leaving out of the body, right. going through these different, you know, right. planes Hopefully of existence. Hopefully going up in dimensional yeah. planes yeah. of existence, yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't dick around, dog. Don't dick around. Holy so yeah, Japanese fuck. Breakfast, she named that album that. And another album. I love that band. I just don't, I only know like two Shout or three out. songs, but I like that sad, girly stuff, dude. That shit's the California shit. Those oh, are from uh, Agape. Agape. What you know, dude. If you got the time, go look up the band Agape from back in the day. Uh, victims of tradition. Yeah, victims of tradition. Wow. Those are original copies of the, and they don't have very many of them in print, like made, you know? Yeah. So, but it's from back in the day, wow. and uh, shout out to Fred Caban, and Fred shout Caban. out to the band Agape from back in the day. Air, what is it, 90.1? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's the the Christian station. They play it on the Christian station all the time. Yeah, I don't my even buddy, care about the religious side of it. That. I just think he's no, a really good more, guitar player. And, and it's more he's like... he got the message stuff. Yeah, and he's more spiritual, he is. He talks about Jesus, but he understands Jesus on the grounds of what he's supposed to be as like all of these big forces exist and they they're made sense of by this guy and how he lived his life you know uh, not like follow the rules you know please rise please stand any of that bullshit you know yeah. none of that, that stuff funky, yeah. the real Jesus not white Jesus not white Jesus not white Jesus not that Boriega <laughs> Uh, what do you San, know about Boriega? I don't know. Santeria. What do you know about Boriega? San, Santiago. There was a Roman dickhead, one of the, I don't know if he was a pope or just one of the fucking cardinals, one of those dickheads, right? In yeah. The high ups in the Catholic Church, and uh, he changed the image of Jesus, you know what I mean? He made the official image of Jesus, the guy with the curly hair and shit. and the, the one Curly of these, hair? One of these, you know? I'll tell you damn straight. Right, Straight wavy, Jesus. wavy hair, you know what nah. I mean? But he, he they, they say he uh, modeled it after his son, and that was his last name was Boriegas. They had a fake show. Fake news, fake news. They had a show. They were Roman. Fake Catholics, fake Catholics, fake assholes. There it is. Fake Catholic, fake assholes. It doesn't rhyme. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, 
Oh. What's the thing? Z13 class five. Boop, 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 boop. Episode 52. Maybe of... it's 51. We might combine them together. I don't know, man. Because that other one was a little... Hold on. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just glad that... <clears throat> I think you're trying to wrap it up. We're not ready yet. No, Here no. I'm just doing the transitional transition. Psycho pomp, you fucker. Oh, yeah. Psycho pomp. Who's right. a psycho pomp? Here we go. So then you can be a psycho pomp in... Right? You didn't even look up the word. Uh-huh. Yeah, right here. Oh. Uh, it's just actually... It's the post. It, it, it is it. It's not the, the you word. Just, just Google. Define psycho pomp. Define. Here you go. Dream manual for the psycho pomp. The Ooh. NODA. Ooh. N-O-D-A. No one dies alone. Founded by Oregon nurse Sandra Clark. This program has spread to hospitals and hospices throughout the U.S. and the world. It coordinates volunteers... With those who are dying and do not have friends or family to be by their side. Wow. That's crazy. I would do that. That's I would do that. That's kind of cool, huh? I would do that. You're like a death doula. Dr. Sleep. Like DD, dog. Ooh. Death you know, doula? I like to drink. I got to be a DD <laughs> somehow. Know, I like to drink. So I don't like to be a DD that in the traditional sense, but I could still say it. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? The other okay, way. I'm, I'm, a, so I'm, I'm the DD. But yeah, I'll you're the DD. But I'll be drinking, dog. But I'll be drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, Dr. Sleep, he was kind of like, he did that because he had the uh, the shining. He had a little bit of fucking psychic power, so he... Oh, he, he did? Yeah, and he found work in the in the hospice, and he would talk to people. The cat knew, too. There was this cat that used to jump on the bed, and this guy explained it to him. He goes, ah, oh, fuck, I'm done. He goes, if Billy, or I forgot the cat's name, you know, Whatever. but if old fucking Chimmer is here, yeah, he's done, he knows. He comes and he visits everyone on their last night. If he's in there, you know you're done. And the guy's like, nah, man, don't say that. He goes, yeah, I've been here a long time. The old guy, you know, he's like, I've been here a long time. You're the fucking cat knows, dude. And then he he was right. And, you know. Damn. I that kind of shit freaks me out. You know, they say if a black cat crosses in front of the street in front of you or whatever. Yeah. Superstition. Uh, I had a bunch of black. I've had like two or three black cats in my life. My yeah, sister, I have a black okay. cat. <laughs> That's how you break the simulation. Cat message. Here you go. Yeah, you do. Cat message. Cat message, all right? Look it. Fucking makeup. If your cat is weird and likes to eat everything, don't leave no makeup around. All right? My sister, she left the fucking makeup open, and the cat ate a shitload of makeup. She used to go to my mom's makeup and put makeup on, and they killed the cat, dude. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. dude! That got drastic real quick. Well, that's what I'm dude, I was it, like, it was a I'm cat laughing. message. <laughs> well, that's a dr- that's like a cat emergency, dog. Oh no, fuck! I was trying to give a PSA for the cats. And I Jeez, said it. Dude, you got me laughing over here because the cat's getting all caked up on some fucking psych. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I thought the cat was probably getting high or something. No, dude. no, no. The cat, the cat get high. The dog ate a roach. Got high one time. It was ridiculous. The other dog that's doesn't like weed. Funny. But yeah, so if you got cats. All right. You got makeup, they don't mix. Especially if a cat's a fat and eats everything. It was a fat, it was a fat black cat. You know, How many people put sad. their cat in their purse, dude, with their makeup <laughs> inside of it? There you go. See? That's a cat PSA. Whoa. Boom. Hang on. Okay. All right, here you go. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Da. Cheers. Three. Da Um, K, Ultra. I think I'm frozen. You blew it. You blew it. You blew it. Fuck it. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dog. It's just gonna be out of nowhere. It's I was gonna, like holding it for right, so long. We're gonna be I'm holding it, to... and then it's gonna like... be you just pulling it back <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me reset this. Uh, yeah, that's not that bad. That fucking getting having to get up and do that. Whatever. No, no, it's fine uh, because it adds momentum. Okay, I got another one. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Momentum. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Boom. Let me drive the boat. Did you watch that shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit. Right? Let me drive the boat. A little meme review. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. I'm breaking rules. Fuck, dude. We're in the meme. Wars. Wars, okay? That's the only reason I bring it up. Are you a digital soldier? Uh, 100%. I'm because... a motherfucking veteran. Because <laughs> it's fucking... No, I'm not a veteran. <laughs> funny, dude. 
It is hilarious. Okay, here you go. Okay. Kodak Black, I guess he was on vacation or something. He was Instagram live. Let me try the boat. Let me try the boat. Let me try the boat. Uh. Let me try the boat. Yeah. All right, right? Oh, no. They made that into a song. Dog, no. Not a song. <laughs> There you go. Dog. Game over. <laughs> is he driving the boat? No, no, no. Me more, baby. Oh. Let me drive the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, shit. That's ridiculous. That's pretty good, though, right? I like that one a lot. I think it's a little bit older, but that <laughs> shit had me folk. dying. All right, here I got one more meme for you, and then we're, and then we're done. I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening here. Why would you do this? Who thought it was a good idea? There's Mexican wrestlers, right? Okay, what are they called? They are called lucha libres. Lucha libre. Okay, here you go. Here you go, baby. Get in. I'm on. gonna watch. Get in. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's two out of the regular ring. size guys. Oh my God, that yep. is a little monkey. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, he just broke that midget's back, dude. Dude, that's so bad, right? He's done. He's hurt the whole time. He's trying to get up. He's trying to play it off, but he's fucked up. <laughs> Carmitino <laughs> kick. Slow <laughs> motion. Dude, he kicked him so. Hard. Dude, he flew in after him. Yeah. Oh. That's fucked up, huh? There's a... Okay. There's a, oh, a wrestling he's done. match. He's done. He's the, done. There's a wrestling... Dude, he's so hurt. Chupo Libre. The oh, mini my monkey, God, dude. R.I.P. R.I.P. The is... monkey, man. Dude, he looked like a little Ewok, like an alien monkey. Like, a, he he, obviously a midget. A real he's tiny the, midget. He's a little... He's, he's part of somebody's crew. <sighs> and the guy ran up on him, gave him a bop on the head, and he fell down. And their plan is, okay, you have to kick gonna, him out of the ring. I'm going to kick him out of the ring. But he kicks him so hard. He, comes Ooh, he drop kicks him. He slide kicks him. And he just is, he goes, goes from completely stationary to having this giant fucking Mexican fly into his back, into his ass. <laughs> and he just kicks him right in the lower back. And oh. this fucking guy just flies into the crowd. That oh. guy's done. That guy's done. Gormito kick. Pretty bad. R.I.P. Ewok. Oh. <laughs> that one's that one's a little strong, strong meme. We'll put wow. the fucking link in the thing. Jesus. Oh Star Wars, dude. my god. Okay, here we go. They're getting PewDiePie. With what? Eudaimonia. Remember that? Yeah. That was like good. That word. It was very cool. It was uh. Eudaimonia. And he brought it up in context of Twitter being so shitty and toxic, and even when it's positive. It's fake positivity. It's people like fucking posturing and yeah. virtue signaling, boasting, right? Boasting, yeah. Boasting and, and, and really just convincing themselves, you know? Like it's really trying, for they them. Want, they want self other people to say, oh, oh, this person's nice. They reassurance. Charity or whatever. Yeah, it's like the like social reassurance. reassurance. Yeah, it's stupid. So he's talking about that. Phone, you big brings fat up, phone. Yeah, yeah. He brings up eudaimonia, right? Okay. Which is an old Greek term. From Socrates, he actually has this pretty cool fucking uh, fact about Socrates, dude. Socrates didn't write a fucking thing down. No? Socrates didn't write. One of Socrates' most famous works, right, the one where the eudaimonia is from, Okay. is from his fucking little butt boy that is definitely his butt boy because that's what they used to do back in the day. Have okay. little manservants that suck them off and stuff in exchange okay, for that's really weird. learning. I swear to God. In exchange for learning? Yes, dude. Little fuck boys, straight up. You know, everybody looks. These guys are great. Uh, they're uh, different time, different culture. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Some people still feel that way, you know. So, anyways, hey, one dog, of I his little butt boys. Hey, I he, got the knowledge, dog. He wrote it. Yeah, suck my fang. He wrote. He, <laughs> he wrote it down. That shit don't work for me, cause I'm not a fake shaman. Look at. <laughs> but. That's one of his most famous works, and it was written down from one of his homies just wrote it down. Like, w one of his little butt boys wrote it down as he was giving a lecture. So he's talking to people, so, just riffing, and he's writing down. He oh, just okay. catches lightning in the bottle, you know? Damn. But it comes from that. Eudaimonia is, is a, uh, it's like, it's spelled like edamame. Yeah. Eudaimonia. Yeah, look at that one. Uh, pneumonia. Yeah. 
and it's a it's not happiness as a mood but like the pursuit of happiness yeah as a free flowing state of happiness and yes not being cuz he they had people that were like yeah that's amazing that's really hedonistic cool. and shit where it's like the only pleasure well, that's, it, yeah, that's it that's it's that's positive kind of, technically it's positive but well, that's it's a not really good it's not point, really though dude you know like okay if everybody if you have somebody that's like everything around me is miserable yeah right yeah all i see is destruction and chaos and yeah. hood shit Right, and yeah. that's like all that they see. That's all that they know. Yeah. Right, and you're trying to convince them that there's more than just that. Right. It's like, how can you be happy? Right, as you say, hedonistic, or I guess people would be pessimistic or fucking narcissistic. But then and they're going. And there's becomes, no point to this existence. And that becomes, like, okay, because no matter what, there's this. Okay, there's. <clears throat> Programs that you're building up, patterns that you're building up, patterns that you're taking down, right? But then there's also, like, things that are, you're, you're like, when you want to feel something, when you want to feel good, you're going to feel good doing anything. Some people let that shit slide into, like, I feel good when I'm fucking, you know, getting beat. You know what I mean? Like that weird ass that's sex weird. shit. You know what I mean? And that's like, a little weird. Right? Or, Don't you or, think that's weird? Yeah. Or, or yeah. people like it becomes like I was just watching the fucking boondocks last night, dude. Yeah. And it was a stink meaner one. It becomes to where those if you're so pessimistic and you build up those patterns of being pessimistic for so long, you will inevitably you, you'll inevitably be happy when you're fucking pessimistic. That's you being normal. That's you having a regular day. Right. Everything's you, so you're. Oh shit! That's some weird psycho. Right. Path shit. Right. So when someone wants to come in and be nice to you, and it it, it literally fucks your day up because you're used to everybody being mean to you. Right. You're used to being mean to everybody. Right. And then it's just unfamiliar, and usually people unfamiliarity makes them. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. You know. I don't like they it. Think it's weird. Someone's trying to change change their. Yeah, let me be me. Yeah. Oh, you're being a dick. Yeah. So what? Told you so you agree you're a dick? Ah, you know, <laughs> short circuit, dude, you know? <laughs> that is monkeyness. Yeah. Shout so I believe out. that. So yeah. that eudaimonia is a little bit, it, it's the opposite of that. It's being happy and not doing one thing, not doing some things, not when you're faced with a challenge, but always being happy on the bright side of things like Buddhism, you know? But well, yeah, okay, different. different I guess just know, like don't different context. Don't look for the the negative outcome. Maybe I guess if you're forced, if you're put in a position where you have a challenge or something, don't you think like okay, if you have something you got to do, mm-hmm. why the fuck would you be dwelling on all of the bad shit that could happen? Yeah, wouldn't you be like? But think about it like a baseball game or a football game or something. But right? there's a downside to that too. No, but there's a win, dog. No, but there's a downside to that too. You're fucking Brennan Schaub, dude. And he lost. No, 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 no. <laughs> but that's what that's the downside. You're him, and you're just always looking at the bright side, like Logan Paul, dude. Oh, okay. You're always just <clears throat> only take only. I mean, he always says take L's and W's. And I was like, I only take W's. I only, I win. I'm used to winning. I'm used to winning. I always win, and you can't. You know, when you lost, you lost, dude. You know, you lost, yeah. you lost. You got to say you lost. Yeah. And if you're going to lose, if it, if there's like a high probability it's not going to happen, you, you have to admit it, you know? Yeah. And you can be optimistic. Like, okay, let's say you're late for the fucking store. Yeah. And you're driving over there and you're like, oh, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes they're open late. They take 10 more minutes to, to close up and, you know, I can run in there real quick and run out, you know? Yeah. But you gotta still expect you can't be fucking heartbroken when you get to the store and they they're out of there, right. you know. And you're like, oh god, I've usually they're open and usually you know. And then it's like, oh, I knew it, oh, you know. Yeah. And, you, and then a lot of people flip like, oh my god, just the worst yeah. day ever in the world, blah 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 blah. You know, I think that's the flip side to that, to always thinking that you, everything's gonna be positive is you don't know how to deal with the negative. Sometimes you gotta think like. Well, you know, I mean, we're, we're probably not going to go. I'm probably not going to have save enough money for that. I probably right. can't go to the concert or something. Right. And then you get there and you're like, "Well, I don't have enough. I could stretch it, 
but I don't want to stretch it. Or you do have the money, and you're like, oh, cool, I, I, I do. You guys still have the ticket, you know? And then the optimism hopefully leads to their optimism, you know? Right. And it links up, and then everything becomes good. But right. let's say you're, you know, you're pessimistic all the time, and you're like, I'm not going to get the money for the ticket. Or I'm not going to be able to sell it. I'm not going to be able to do it. And then I say, yeah, maybe I want to, but probably not. And then you get there, and you do. They they sense that pessimism, and they yeah. they didn't get your extra ticket. Right. You know? It's yeah. like it's, it goes crazy. both ways. It goes both See, ways. I think that goes all the way to fucking selling fucking plates on eBay, dog. Oh yeah. I think if you want to fucking got to get you gotta language, start the right account, dude. You have the to the real account because you got to keep got to keep it going. Working, dog. Yeah. And you got to keep it going. That's crazy. Yeah, no. But that has to do with the energy that you put into it, I think. And a lot, and then a lot of times oh, you didn't. Shit. But listen, Time out. listen, hold on. No, 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 no. You didn't. You didn't ah. realize the energy that you're putting pity. into it. Going and buying that thing, you That's you thing. wanted it. You said, "Hey, this but is cool. I re- like this thing." I'm, okay. You're not thinking, "Oh, I, I, somebody like me is going to recognize how cool this is, and I'll be able to sell it later." You think, not "Hey, I no. like this. I thing. like this. This thing. is cool." Uh huh. I'll figure out what to do with it later. Right. The optimism. Right. right, that's most of the time what happens. Right, right. Uh, that's so crazy. Um, what do you think? Okay, so I was in walking through this antique store. Yeah, and I don't usually do that, right? right? Because they're boring. Right. I was growing up, and every so often, my mom or my aunt or my grandma or whatever they would want to go to an antique store. Right. And I'm like, oh my god, I want to do that. You yeah. know what I mean? It's so boring. Yeah. But this time, I went to one over here uh-huh. on the other side of town right and never been there before and it was pretty freaking cool dude they had all this weird stuff yeah and i was like holy crap this is real stuff it's not like props and shit this is like yeah real things that were like from the past and like real old shit you can't get nowhere i like straight up fucking tea sets and shit you know the alcohol decanters shit that you like crazy. for your desk yeah so Flasks, gangster cassette players gangster just like the like old stereos, shit. the old old just a, shit a fucking dish fucking. just a dish dude yeah, and a plate, it's dog. fucking yeah like a weird crystal dish and it comes with three little fucking bangers that go around it and it you put it on your table you put a fucking candy in there for your funky ass kids Ah, uh, you know they love grandma's house. And they do. Grandma fucking and she's got sold the cool it to dish. the spot. Yeah, <laughs> she's got the cool dish. It's got candy. And then grandma doesn't want the dish anymore. I I'm want the dish. I want the dish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm putting a lot of candy in that. That's though, so. dope. All right. Okay. Well, anyways. Okay. Right. You the money thing. That's cool. He did that's that really thing. Cool. Right. Happiness. Boom. Happiness. Right. Then, Don't be negative. At the end of that video, he goes right. They completely fucking nobody talks about. He had this really cool philosophical talk, PewDiePie. Okay. Right? And he tied into how Twitter is kind of the opposite of that, but it's also easy to gauge because it's broken down because it's fucking Twitter. You just literally tweet, tweet, tweet. Right. just fucking blip, blip, blip. The end of the video, he goes, I'm going to be taking a break early next year. You know, I'm tired of this shit. It's crazy. You know what I mean? I try to participate online, but, you know, it's hard to. I live it. Right. I'm going to probably take a break earlier next year. So then I got a game coming out. No, no, no. He starts talking about his own stuff. Boom. That's it, dog. Over the fucking weekend, it's huge news. PewDiePie quits YouTube. PewDiePie quits YouTube. PewDiePie is quitting YouTube. Says he's too tired of it. Says he's tired. Oh, they, they blew it out, out of proportion? Blah, 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 blah. Not only blew it out of proportion, fucking. He never said he was quitting. He said, I'm going to take a break for a little bit. Yeah. Next year, I'm going to take a break for a little bit. He didn't say, uh, I'm like done. Like he's employed or something. Yeah. And he didn't. No. And then he put a fucking video up after that. You know, it's like, yeah. what the fuck are they talking about? You know? That's nuts. It doesn't make any sense, dude. And he talked about it today and it's. I don't know. They just they hate him so much, dude. They hate him. They hate him. They hate him for saying nigger the one time. You oh, know, yeah. they hate him for the dead to all Jews thing. <laughs> and I think that's about it, dude, you know? Yeah, they don't that's like not, that. They hate that shit. And that was it. And it was just, it's not, not the fucking know. business. You know what I learned, too? There's this weird uh, 
internet thing about uh, the H Street podcast. Okay. You know that fucking guy? He ha- he like writes out a script, and he has questions. Oh. Topics, like a talk show or something? Like a fucking talk show, dude. Yeah. And they have so many examples of him letting it, like the camera slips and he holds the paper up and they get it, you know, or <laughs> somebody leaks it, something like that. Yeah. And he'll ask those questions. He'll ask the same exact question. But every just, person? No, but the what's written down. And he'll keep, he'll answer it. Dude, there's one, I don't know. Yeah, but what if he's just trying to organize his thoughts? No, dude, don't. No. It's bad. There's there's a lot of shitty examples. Like there's, dog. He like has so much beef with internet people, dude. I I didn't know all these internet people exist. There's this old man, that does old man videos, dude. He's like, if your dad, <laughs> you not like crazy about? old man, not crazy old man, but like, he's like fifty years old, right? Like older, like middle aged dad, right? Like straight up, just maybe dad from Jersey or New York or something. I don't know. Like kind of loud, funny guy like okay. kind of a dick you know it's what i mean guy. you know what i mean he's okay. just like he wake up he's a ah, stupid shit you know they do old dad jokes like you know put grab grab drop your cock grab your socks you know <laughs> like stuff like that right okay and uh he's making internet videos and fucking with people and people call him racist like oh my god look at this guy he's so racist and he's sitting there like i'm not racist it's just older comedy that's how it used to be you know oh he's just like an old school everybody's just so fucking sensitive right but the H three guy gets that motherfucker on there, and he's just ign- totally ignoring what he's saying, and just keeps going, cutting him off, and heading on to the next question, the next question, the next question. You know, he's just showing up to work. There's this other, I guess, gamer guy or another comedian guy that somebody said was racist or some shit. I don't know. It's like, I don't. I can't. That's ridiculous. I can't even keep dude. this shit straight. But the guy literally, everybody, dude, everybody, he every told human, they're all humans. Dog, he told the H three guy, fucking twenty times, dude. I don't want to get into. I don't really want to get into it. I'm I'm kind of done. I'm over it. It was almost a year ago, you know. He had some yeah. crazy controversy that like boom just drove him into the ground, you know. Yeah. And uh, and the guy just kept bringing it up. He goes, "Well, uh, you know, actually," and he's like not even looking at him. He's just like looking down here, like, you know, no, 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 no. And he <laughs> just keeps doing it, doing it, doing it. And this guy, it's kind of like that Brendan Schaub one, where people go, they they analyze these podcasters and really set the fucking record straight you know okay like them being really fake like straight up like the internet warriors yeah. dude you know like internet yeah. investigators it's funny dude. i want someone to do that to the things i say that'd be fucking hilarious know, dude, so dude. Many, uh, what do they call them because I, I have multiple personalities i, I would be like man okay. i i don't do that uh, like, hey uh, i'll do that from time to time like shit like that they would put the two <laughs> cuts together you know wearing different shirts and shit <laughs> yeah no i would never do that but no well, maybe but yeah dude they, they i don't know that guy he there's something up with the h3 podcast it's like it's an op dude damn it's an op i think joe rogan's a big op too well i think a lot of them are ops dude are we ops no well, we're anti-op. I'm not an op. I don't know, man. What does that mean? What are we supposed to? What are we supposed to talk about on this podcast? Whatever the fuck we want. Do they got us? Do Is they, that how it do works? They feed us the information. Where? Soy wars. <laughs> are we supposed to talk about the soy wars? Well, right. I don't understand how these things blow up on the internet and then everybody just starts making videos about the same thing, soy and a lot of times wars, they make. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. It's everybody. That's crazy. And they got some new fucking miniature fucking fake ass Yoda. Right. I can't handle that, dog. I know it's not even Yoda. I, Everybody calls I can't it keep how? Up. Why? It's not his name is not Yoda. Why are See? they calling him Baby That's the Yoda? First thing that they don't I even can't. know his his. I don't, I don't know the race. I don't know what the race is called. But it would be a baby fucking chimmer, you know, whatever the whatever. What? The, right. Right. What is Yoda? Right. He's a. People know it. People know all that shit oh, about yeah? Star Wars. People oh, are freaks at Star but Wars. But Yoda is like the best, most important one. What, what is it? What is it? And he, I guess, is, uh, hey, I guess that shows why the new ones that are coming out are not Star Wars. They're Soy Wars. Okay? And it, it's because okay. those, the people that are driving it online, driving the narrative online, are okay with calling that thing Baby Yoda because they're not real, real fans of Star Wars. Because real fans of Star Wars would have named it 
we would have called it his name. It would have never been Baby Yoda. Been a, oh, it's a Baby Yoda. Would that's like a mom. It, that's like what a mom would say. Like, oh, that's a Baby Yoda. You know? Right. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, dude? It's not well, him. That's how ridiculous we're at right now. We mm-hmm. got moms going down Creating because it's Christmas time. Buzz. You know, they're going. It's Christmas time, dude. I gotta go buy the baby Yoda. For what? For my kids. Why? It's Christmas. Oh no! And they already have baby Yoda shit out, huh? Well, dog, I guarantee, baby Yoda, dog, baby Yoda. I guarantee they got baby Yoda. When do you think they had baby Yoda shit ready to rock, like merchandise oh, and shit? When do God. you think they did? Oh, How no. far into making the show where they were saying, "Oh, you're talking." Right? Wizard of Oz shit. That's dog. what I'm talking about. Dark Side of the Moon shit. Yeah. These fucking Reb Gilios, dude. What if when we sleep, they're fucking stealing our ideas, put them in order. Before, in order? Right. And then compartmentalize them. Yep. And then getting the whole narrative, dude, you know? Yeah. Fifth dimension. But uh, it's hard to ho- have the whole narrative. And there's some parts of the narrative that you don't really even could care less about, to be honest. Some of it's a lot of bl- a bunch of bullshit. Mm. Well, yeah. that one's coming out this week, Soy Wars. That's right. Yeah, and the narrative is, it's just a Star the Wars movie, but it's a yeah, little bit just, different. Just yeah. Continue never... your soy life. They built up. No, no, come on. If you if you want to go to the parade, go to the parade, okay? Just go. Just go what to the parade. What are you talking about? If you want to go to the parade, but you're nervous, you got anxiety, you're like, I got social anxiety. What are you I don't want to go to the parade. I don't like people. Oh, my God. Oh. Just go to the fucking parade. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that shouldn't even be a point to be made. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, man. What are you going to call your fucking weed dealer and tell him I'm trying to go to this parade? How fast can you get here? No, that's stupid. Why would you do that? Yeah, why would you do that? That doesn't wouldn't. make any sense. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. That was a All right, here we go. Anyway. Give me with another one. No, 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 no. We're almost done. Here we go. I got... All right. Here we go. We're going to go out with something good. You ready? Yeah, I ain't going to no parade. King Kong versus Godzilla. Okay. Right? Ah. It's coming out. It's somebody, coming out. Somebody leaked the footage. Uh-oh, who wins? Right? That's what I'm saying. Someone leaked Just a little footage. On. Spoiler alert. You tell me. I don't know. They Spoiler. don't. Well, if something like that, nobody wins. Because they both have to live on and be in other movies. So they're both going to survive. Of course. That sucks. Right? So it's like, who wins the round? It's like, so, you know? Yeah, no. But I'm pretty sure that fucking... I don't know, man. Monkeys are crazy, dude. Monkeys are crazy. Monkeys are crazy. They have weird, crazy strength. Their feet yeah. and their arms are like almost the same thing, you know? That shit's scary as hell. What would you do? If I was a... If you were a monkey versus a giant lizard. I would be the monkey? Mm-hmm. Or the lizard? No, if you were the monkey and you were the giant lizard, how would you attack it? Oh, okay. If I'm the monkey... um. You punch it. I would go shit. for its. Easy. I would go for its fucking uh, neck, dog. And neck him. I'd probably chop his head off. With what? Oh yeah, you're a monkey. You use tools. Oh, can I? Monkeys use tools. Yeah. Yeah, I just rip it, man. Just rip it. King Kong. Yeah, yeah. You can rip you know, I break buildings. Yeah. I can rip the guy's head. Maybe. Maybe he's really strong, huh? You think Godzilla is probably like buff? Probably did the neck exercises. <laughs> He's got a big neck. Yeah, you might have yeah. done it. He's got a big neck. Okay, you might all right, hold on. Neck. So then... So then how would you do it? You got to find a way, because... he's got built-in weapons. Well, he's got his teefers. But he's a reptile, so uh-huh. they got, like, weird skin that's easy to stab into. Yeah, well, how are you going to do it? He's got he's to get tools. Monkey needs monkey tools, can't huh? monkey can't use tools. Godzilla's got chain. He's got claws. Right, you he's got teeth. Up. He's got the the breath, the honk. Right, but monkeys have claws, too, no? No, Godzilla ain't got no claws. He's like more Godzilla of a, don't have no claws. He's like a gorilla. You said. I mean, I mean, I mean, King, man, King Kong. Kong ain't got no claws. He got gorilla. He doesn't. Gorilla hands. Gorilla He's hands. Like human man. Mm-hmm. Does he have nails? Uh, maybe. What are they made out of? Maybe. No, I don't. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Coconuts. <laughs> um, I'll go for Godzilla. Godzilla, of course, will whoop his fucking ass. Godzilla's got magic. Fucking. Oh, he's got magic. Oh. He can breathe fire. Oh, yeah, or yeah. Ice or Atomic something. fire. Atomic fire? Mm-hmm. What's the difference between that and, and regular fire? It's radioactive. Ooh, yeah, fire Godzilla's, that's radioactive? Yeah, he's a radioactive being. Oh, man. He oh, yeah. whoops Godzilla's ass on paper. I mean, he whoops King Kong's ass on paper. Right. How the fuck are they even going to make a movie about it? 
Got King know. Kong versus some traps and shit. What's, you know what it's going to be like? Man. Godzilla goes underwater. He can hold his breath. He just drowned King Kong's little bitch ass. Right? They try to make yeah, King Kong all but, big. Uh, what do you think? The monkey? Thinks monkey will win? He can slap him around, slam him uh, around man, a little bit. The monkey's just trying to be a monkey, dog. You know what I'm saying? I think that... Why are they fighting in the first place? And the monkeys... <laughs> The, the the monatomic fucking fire breathing radioactive man. Yeah. Probably he's not from here. No, no, he is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where's yeah. he from? From uh, I don't know, like Mexico or something. For li- real? Yeah, he lives around. Tom- Godzilla's from Mexico. Something like that. Damn. It was all in the last movie. They gave away a lot of information. Ha, uh, fucking Hollow Earth. He lived in the Earth. And he, oh man. Yeah. That's Maybe crazy. it was closer. Where King to, Kong come from? He lives on Skull Island. They have a map. They have a. Where's that? Figured all I know, I know, out. but can you just tell me? Uh, I think Skull Island's near. I think it's near Mexico. Everything's close to Mexico, I think. Oh, so they're just Mexican. Yeah. Uh, giant Mexican thing. Monkey. There was def- There was a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Listen, I know a hundred percent that there was a scene in Mexico at the last movie, right? The the bird. Rodan, like Rodan. A pterodactyl, Firebird. Wow. Oh. Where's he from? For, he came out of Mexico. So that's why. Damn, <laughs> dog. That's why I have Mexico on my brain. Because I think a lot of this stuff took Damn. place around Mexico. Damn. You that's know? crazy, dog. They want proof for dinosaurs? You just got to go to Mexico, <laughs> I guess. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Fuck, and giant monkeys. Dog. So who are you going so with? So is he like a. Who are you going with? Fuck, dog. Uh, There's, you got months. I got. You got months. I want the you don't monkey have to, to decide. Just, okay. You want, I the, want monkey? the monkey to? Well, they're both from here. That's what you just say. But uh, uh, the last movie, he can't they just agree to coexist? Or they that's probably to. what's gonna happen at the end of the movie. I bet you. Oh come on! They're gonna have like half monkey, half Godzilla baby dog. Mm-mm. No. The only spoiler attack. This okay. is what I think is gonna happen. Yeah, spoiler attack. I don't know. I, I don't like to read into the movies that much, but this is what I think is going to happen. Okay. It's going to be like Batman versus Superman. Okay. Where there's going to be... Batman doesn't have any superpowers. Right, though. but he was so whooping Superman's real. ass for a minute. Well, let's be real, I'm, though. Almost the whole time. But let's be but real, But not though. the first time. At, I know. Right. But look it. But he ain't have no power. That's what makes him so super. Look it. But he just got tools. The absence of and super. And he shoots people. He does. That's what. See? That's a misnomer that's, that he doesn't shoot people. He Punisher shoot wouldn't like that. He should, Punisher would love that. Punisher kills people. Right, because right, Punisher kills the bad. Go ahead. Okay. They're gonna fight, but then some other bad guys are gonna come in. They're gonna have team up for a minute, fight him, and then they're gonna be like, "Well, I don't really like you, and you don't really like me, but that was cool oh, of us. So I'll see you later." What do you think? The co- what do you think they would co up co op against? Mecha Godzilla. <gasps> AI robot man. From where? Outer space? Or no, something? no, no. We built a, a fucking oh, anti Godzilla Godzilla. Mm-hmm. And it comes oh, alive. Oh, Mecha Godzilla? Yeah. That's yeah. going to happen? That's what I think. Because they don't really. They Damn. did. They did the other big bad guy that was in the last movie, and he was actually from space. He was a reptilian from space. Oh! Got him. Got him. But that was in the last movie. Oh, we're done. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're done. Thank I'm, you. I'm going with Godzilla. Suck my dick. No, uh, no, go with the monkey. No, I'm no, going no. with the monkey dog. No, I'm from dog. planet Earth. I think I'm just a monkey. Yeah, maybe you no, are dog. too. No, dog. I got a song on the way out. Hold on. And the reptiles just want to take over everything that you own. No, I got something actually a little funnier. Are you ready? They take your soul and Remember they the mind show? control you. There you go. Step over this hedge and kick your ass.